Good morning, folks. Me. A little update for you. Yeah, there was an eventful week last week. Well, especially towards the end of the week, starting on Thursday morning. Signing a contract for 16 hours a week at the Burger Vase House in Davener. A prestige music venue from the likes of the Pogues to John Cale have played the, this venue. And I got a talking job. All I have to do is talk. You know, so when a band comes in, they meet me and I talk. <laughs> I tell them where things are. I tell them what time mass is on Sunday and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And where the hotel is. And listen, lads, get up there and sing a few songs. You know, that kind of way. Yeah. Now you get your dinner at 6 o'clock. Yeah, sound check is now. All that kind of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's a bit of a challenge. I'm also going to be de DJing there quite a lot. Doing my live DJ sets, which is great. Uh, and it's a job. I get paid for it. It's fantastic. Thrilled with myself. Secondly was, I went camping for the first time in about 10 years. Uh, for two nights last weekend in Bad Bentheim in Lower Saxony. In the Fatherland in Germany. Uh, very, very enjoyable. I'm delighted with myself. Thrilled, you know. As I say, I hadn't camped in about 15 years. Um, because the, it was a bit of a trial weekend because we want to go camping this summer, you know, for summer holidays in Ireland. And we wanted to check out to see what it'd be like during the rain and stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, but the, I learned a lot about it. There's, there's a few things that I will have to be careful about you know like i do need an invalid toilet i do need an invalid shower i do need to be able to just able to walk in on the same level you know what i mean um now the campsite was lovely where i was but except there were steps involved you know to get into a into the washroom and stuff like that which you know and there was no handrails you know so like you know th those kind of things i you know, would make life a little bit easier for me. And the reason I say this is because I know I sound very positive about everything in my life, you know, because anything I put up on Facebook, it's always positive. Oh, great, look what I'm doing, look, I'm doing this. And people, you know, are amazed at me with my attitude, I suppose. But let me tell you, though, a few weeks ago, um, I did have a bad fall. Um, our dog, Eddie, you might have seen photographs of Eddie, our lassie, Collie, he's 10 and he's going deaf. So when I said to him, Eddie, will you get out of the way? Because he, he sits always in your way when you want to walk. And of course, the dog, he's deaf, so he doesn't get up. You know, Eddie, get up. Eddie, get up. And he doesn't move. And beside him was a little uh, plastic uh, thing, a crate um, on, the, on the floor. And of course, I stepped on it and my legs went from under me. And I came down heavily on the bad leg, on the left leg, you know, which I ended up going to hospital, going to doctors, you know, to get um, x-rays and stuff. Luckily, I didn't break anything, but I certainly, the pain is unbelievable. Now, this is about three weeks later, and um, I still am in a lot of pain. Anyway, last weekend as well, I'm coming on the campsite, and I'm coming from the, the, the sanitary place back to the tent on my little scooter. And it's just a stupid little thing. So I'm turning into the little kind of uh, road to, down to our tent. And there's a stone, a little stone, you know, a pebble. And as I'm making a turn, sure, one of the wheels goes on the little stone. And, of course, I topple over on the ground again. Could hardly pick myself up off it. But, yeah, this kind of stuff still happens to me, you know. A little bit less. I've only, I can easily tell you that I've only fallen... Maybe four or five, four times or less even. Maybe three or four times since Russia. I was going to say five, but that's be exaggerating. But um, I don't really fall. But I, it still kind of, you know, niggles at me. You know, and says, look, Mark, you're still very vulnerable, you know, despite all your positiveness, you know. So you have to be careful. So I've taken a regime this week of uh, doing an awful lot of, um, I'm doing fitness again, you know, like, I, 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 you know, walking and, other exercises, uh, uh, muscle massage and stuff like that. But um, I really want to get that left leg as strong as possibly. That's what my new regime is. Because I want to be ready for my new job in the Burger Vase house. And they're fucking brilliant. It's a great job, my talking job, you know. At least the mouth muscles are working fine anyway, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm starting that job next weekend. And it throw me in at the deep end because it's a festival. We have a three-day festival, so I'm going to be... Hanging around there, you know. Um, well, I'm going to be DJing, actually. That's what I'm starting this weekend doing. So I'm making some, to make some playlists this week. Stuff like that. 
you know, onwards and upwards. But yeah, I will be going camping again. And yes, I am going camping for my summer holidays this year. Why wouldn't I? With my wife. It's great. It's great fun. I have a bed and everything. You know, a bed, like, you know, going camping. Even though I was in the scouts. But I bought myself a bed. <laughs> you know, but well, not a normal bed. Like, what would you call it? A camping bed. Which is great. So, at least I'm off the ground. So, I'm grand. So, I slept like a baby during the, the camp, campsite and stuff like that. Anyway, that's the update. Um... I'll talk to you again in another couple of months, no doubt. And uh, in the meantime, I'll be putting up loads of posts about my new job. Yeah, they'll tell you about my new job. Yeah. <laughs>